So Trump supporters have been compared to um, Nazis, and Trump has been compared to Hitler. And um, well, let's be honest, it's well deserved. It holds merit and has a lot of credibility. But I don't view it that way. I view Trump supporters more as suicide terrorists. And um, Donald Trump is Osama bin Laden. Oh, how about daddy? Like Trump likes to say, I can't do the Trump voice, so. But yeah, he's the leader and they're the suicide terrorist. He tells you to go put your life on the line, to go put your kids on the line, your kids' lives on the line, and go out there and fight the cause. Meanwhile, he won't do it himself. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, coronavirus is still a threat. And that's why Donald Trump, even though he's telling you to go put your lives on the line, and your kids' lives on the line, is the most tested man in the world. And his son, from last check, isn't going back to class. They're doing remote online learning. So he's telling you to go do it while he stays in the bunker. Now a lot of people will go, oh my God, you know what? That comparison was a little harsh, it's too mean. Ooh. All right, that's fine. I'm, tr I'm trying to be a nicer person. I really am. So here we go. We can also compare Donald Trump supporters and Donald Trump himself to Jim Jones' disciples. For those of you who don't know who Jim Jones is, pick up a fucking book. You don't even need a book. Seriously, we live in the information age. You can watch videos and documentaries. Just search Jonestown, Jonestown, Guyana. Look it up yourself. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, Jim Jones, I mean Donald Trump, is telling his uh, supporters to drink the Kool-Aid, even though he won't drink himself. He's pretty much got you guys riled up the same way Jim Jones did to his people. The world is against you. They're coming for your meat. I don't know what the hell Mike Pence was talking about. They're coming for your freedoms. They want to take away this, that, and the other. It's us against the world. That's what Jim Jones, I mean, Donald Trump is doing right now. And his supporters are right behind him. Just like Jim Jones' supporters are right behind him. And when it came time to drink that Kool-Aid, they all drunk it. Jim Jones didn't want to. That's what you guys are right now. You're drinking Kool-Aid. There's a reason people refer to Trump supporters as a cult. That's pretty much what you're acting like. So if you continue to support Jim Jones, I mean Donald Trump, don't be mad when the uh, color of the Kool-Aid is golden. 